Hi. So uh, a lot of times what, what happens with uh, a lot of us, you know, I would say including me in college is that we are not so sure by the time we reach fourth year what exactly we want to do with our life. Right? Whether we want to get a tech job, whether we want to go get a non-tech job, whether we want to uh, give CAD, get into a good uh, MBA college or whether we want to give GATE, stay in India, do a master's in tech or go abroad, do GRE. So many options, right? Really, really confusing. So, this is where I believe a lot of people get overwhelmed and end up wasting a lot more time than they should be doing, right? They start preparing for multiple things at a time and they tend to screw up most of their prep on the way. So how do we actually manage this, right? So if you would ask me, you should start a little early, right? Start your prep, at least prep from the point of view, what do you really want? Right, and then do a little bit more prep around that starting second year, third year. For example, if you know that you will be applying for tech interviews, it doesn't really make sense for you to start prepping for it starting fourth year. So start a little early so that you have a little more time in your final year for exploring other options. Right, and honestly, if you, for example, some of these things like GRE. Uh, right, you can potentially give at the end of third year itself so that it's not the thing that is bothering you in your final year. Very few of you will have clarity that this is exactly what I want to do, right? For example, if you're absolutely sure that you do not want to do any masters and you want to get a job, absolutely fine, right? Now you're not bothered about all other things and you're just focused on working on your tech interviews or, or non-tech interviews, right? You sort of know what you want to do. If you're absolutely sure that I don't care about the job, I have to give GRE, go abroad, do masters, then also it's absolutely fine because you can completely focus on that. I think the problem comes because a lot of us are not so sure and we want to like sort of have these backup options all everywhere. So if you really want that, you will have to start a little early, right? So start in your third year, do start doing your GRE prep or start doing your CAT prep, right? So that you're not that bothered in the final year. One thing you will have to understand if you're not so sure, the default path for you is to do a job. Because if you will do a job, you will get more mature, you will see people around you who are doing the kind of work that you will potentially do if you do an MBA, let's say. Right? You will find people around you who are sort of doing that advanced technology work if you potentially do a master's. Right, So you will find all those people around you and you would sort of know, do I want to be like this person or not? And that will give you a lot of clarity. Right, So what I'm suggesting you to do is, in your final year, definitely, definitely give your prime focus to the job. Because that is the default path that you will be taking. That is a very likely path that you will be taking. Right? If you, Unless you are absolutely sure that I don't want to do a job. I am absolutely sure I am going to go for CAT. Right? So, if you do want to explore multiple areas, please start a little early. And in case you are like... Uh, you are a little late and you still want to do multiple things. You are in final year. Please focus on your job first get that and once you're done with that then you can start worrying about the rest of the things you can start the prep for that maybe you will join a job and then you will give that exam so you start prepping a little late and you will give and give the exam one year later that's absolutely fine right so and by the time you will you would have one year two year experience as well and that will really help you uh, make a make the right decision for yourself so in the final year while before you get a job Please do not spend too much time doing anything else. Please focus on getting the right job. If you graduate from college without a job and that was something that you wanted to do, I'm telling you it's going to be extremely stressful. So let's not get into that situation. Let's make sure that we get a job before we graduate so that that is the default path we have. Now, if you want to do anything else, prepare, either start preparing earlier or do it post you get a job. It's absolutely fine to do it along with the job as well, right? So that is absolutely okay. Perfect. Thank you.
फॉर न्यू प्रोग्रामिंग अपडेट्स एंड वीडियो सब्सक्राइब टू कोडिंग चैनल